In the last episode, we shared a tour of For Now Boat Option Number One, a 1995 Catalina 320, with Stefan traveling to Texas. This week, we both head on over to Racine, Wisconsin, and tour For Now Boat Option Number Two, a 1999 Genoa Sun Odyssey 34.2. We are currently suburban homeowners. We'd love to be sailing cruisers, but for now, we're in the middle. We are currently on our way to Racine, Wisconsin. There's Stephanie. We left at like four o'clock in the morning. I was sleeping for a couple hours. We're going to look at a boat. It's a Beneteau, what? Genoa. Oh, or Genoa, sorry, that's the other one. Sun Odyssey 34.2. There's a Beneteau and a um, Catalina in Bayfield and Cornucopia uh, that we want to look at too, but this one is in Racine and it's in a heated wintered storage so we can actually see it. The ones in Bayfield and Cornucopia are probably covered in snow because we got so much snow in the last week. Anyway, um, so we're off. Here we are going down into the main salon of the uh, Sun Odyssey 34.2. Um, it's uh, nice and spacious, lots of uh, decent natural light even though we're inside a building here. But the, the head immediately to port at the bottom of the companionway is really large. There's a full size uh, hanging locker there um, and really kind of a, with some space to walk around and shower in. It's uh, really a good size head in this uh, two cabin uh, version. Uh, back out into the main salon here, they're just forward of the head, there's another hanging locker. Um, that's really uh, got some life jackets in there, those, will, uh, those are nice, those are included. Um, that's a pretty rare feature too. Um, more cabinetry over here getting into the galley. Got a couple of uh, chips in the uh, countertop there just on top of the fridge door. Um, but uh, really pretty, uh, pretty spacious and good size uh, cabinets too. The, the hinges and the, uh, um, the closures on these are really pretty nice, um, really good quality. Everything operates smoothly um, and uh, the space is, is pretty good. Uh, got a double sink up here, passing forward into the V-berth. Um, got some sails out there. Uh, but it's a decent size V-berth um, and it also has its own hanging locker. Just looking back into the uh, into the main salon again. Kind of like that uh, oval shaped table. I know that wouldn't be to everybody's taste but um, uh, that seems like that worked pretty well. And there is a, a movable seat that's underneath it as well uh, that you can slide in or out for extra space. Uh, there's a TV on the bulkhead there. Um, and again, uh, good sized uh, cabinetry on the back of the uh, settee there. So moving past the dedicated nav station into the uh, aft cabin, owner's cabin. Good sized uh, bunk there. Uh, it's probably a queen size at least back there. A couple of uh, ports. I think the one into the cockpit is opening and the one in the hull is fixed. Um, but uh, it's a good size uh, sleeping area and it has its own uh, locker as well. Um, we'd uh, want to look to upgrade the lighting on this boat. It looks like it's all original um, and I do like my uh, LED lighting. Uh, so going back into the salon again here, uh, another look at the galley. Uh, this does have an inline galley which isn't to everybody's taste, but uh, we do like that. Looking at the bilge here, uh, it's a decent enough size for this style of boat, um, deep enough. Got a bilge pump in there, just the one, I think. Um, and uh, it's nice and dry, which you'd expect. It's stored indoors. Uh, that goop on top of the, uh, uh, on top of the uh, keel bolt is not great, in my opinion. It keeps them sealed, but also means you can never service them. Um, but we're just going to have to trust that those are okay. 
Uh, you can see the woodwork down here and the floor and everything's in good shape too. Um, let's see, a bit more of the galley here. Um, I believe just off to the left there, those are the uh, level sensors for the water tanks. This boat had uh, two tanks as an option, just one fitted on this one, and I believe that those gauges are not functional. So that's another thing we'll need to take a look at if we move forward with this boat. Um, back over to the nav station and the electrical panel. Simple electrical panel. I'd like to see a bit more uh, there in terms of available switches and breakers, but um, it's enough to get started with. Uh, propane control underneath it there. And that, uh, that panel is hinged so you can pop that down and get behind there for servicing, which is good. Um, going under the sink now in the galley. Um, plenty of room. There's no, uh, no mold to speak of under there, which is nice. You can see the through hull's in pretty good shape. Uh, accumulator there and the fresh water pump. Uh, everything's kind of neat, tidy, and nothing looks too old or broken uh, or overused. This boat's had really pretty light use. That pipe there in the back is for passing uh, uh, electrical cables and so forth for upgrades, which is nice. Those run throughout the boat. Um, good sized uh, sink for a boat of this size. Um, got some uh, classic instruments on the wall there, a, uh, a pressure gauge and, uh, and a, a tide clock which is kind of hilarious for a boat that's uh, mm -hmm. spent its life on the Great Lakes. We don't really have tides uh, to speak of. We had seshes but not tides. That's the bottom of the uh, mast, top of the compression post. Uh, there's a panel that pops back in there to tidy that up. Uh, here's the oven and stove. I don't think this oven has ever been used. So it's absolutely pristine. I don't think anything has ever been cooked in it. Uh, the two burner uh, stove top there, that looks like it's received some light use, but um, still uh, pretty clean, hasn't had much done with it. Back to the V-berth here. Um, again, a nice big sail inventory comes with this boat. Got the original sails plus a couple of extras and, and uh, spinnakers. Got a, uh, looks like that's a wind scoop there uh, for the, V-berth uh, hatch. Um, there's that seat under the table that slides out to give you extra seating there. Go back up the companionway stairs here out into the cockpit. Decent sized cockpit. Nice big locker especially off to on the port side there. Uh, up in the anchor locker. Uh, a bit naughty to have uh, fuel tanks in here. We'll have to pull those out uh, if we were going to do anything with this boat. Diesel tank uh, that's, or diesel can is empty and it looks like there might be a gas can under there too. It's kind of a no-no, uh, but obviously easy to fix. Decent sized locker, uh, no windlass, which uh, isn't really ideal. This boat's getting to be the size where I think we'd want to put a windlass on there um, if this was our boat. Um, but decent deck layout, pretty clean, uh, wide enough uh, down the sides. Got grab rails on the uh, coach roof there. Um, all the lines are fed back uh, to the cockpit, so no messing around at the mast for, uh, with the halides or anything. Underneath we got a, a spade rudder, we got a uh, feathering prop, which was an upgrade I believe the second owner did, that's nice. Um, looks like it could use some CLR on it, but uh, definitely an upgrade from the uh, original two blade prop, which I understand is included. Um, they did an okay job with the bottom paint. It is fresh um, bottom paint on here. Um, didn't do a fantastic job fairing anything out, so there's some imperfections in there, but and there's a bit of touch-up we'd want to do on the, on the bulb on the keel there. Um, but uh, at least it's new paint and it's non-ablative. Um, you know, it should last a few years, especially up where, where we go cruising, so um, not too much to complain about there. And the rest of the hull is nice and bright. The gel coat's in really good shape. Uh, really no uh, issues that, uh, that we could see there at all. So overall, looks to be, uh, looks to be in good shape. Light use, a um, lot of original equipment, but kind of a blank canvas really, which is nice. Uh, I believe it's a double. Oh, all the way to the top? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's, it, I don't think it's a... I was looking for the fish plate here. Just to look at the passions, but... This looks like the back stage right here. Yeah. 
So they would go. Yeah, I don't see a fish plate. You know, the, the, the triangular. Sure. So it looks like a number of these the Europeans, they did that. They went all the way to the top. All the way to the top. The, um, there you have it. For now, boat option number two. What do you think? Which one do you like better? If you missed option number one, the link to the video is below. Which do you think we picked? Find out next episode. And we hope that you enjoyed the tour. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss an episode. Anyway, see you next week and thanks for watching.